Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder campus tour. Today we're headed to Warrensburg, Missouri and the University of Central Missouri. The University of Central Missouri was founded in 1871 as Normal School No. 2. It was renamed Warrensburg Teachers College in 1919, Central Missouri State Teachers College in 1945, Central Missouri State College in 1972, and the University of Central Missouri in, 19, in 2006. The school was originally established to train teachers for the state's public schools. It offered a two-year program leading to a diploma in teaching. In 1925, the school began offering a four-year bachelor's degree program. In the 1960s, UCM began to expand its academic offerings beyond teacher education. It added new programs in business, engineering, and the liberal arts. In 1965, the school established a graduate school. Today, UCM is a comprehensive uni university offering more than 150 undergraduate and graduate degree programs. It has a student body of over 10,000 students from all 50 states and 36 countries. The building on our left here is called the Dockery Building. It's actually the oldest building on campus and was constructed in 1905. In 1915, a fire severely destroyed many of the classrooms here on UCM. This building is one of the few survivors. It's named for former Missouri Governor Alexander Docking and it housed a variety of university academic and athletic programs. It was originally built as a gymnasium, but also served as a barracks and armory during World War I and was remodeled into a classroom building in 1960. We're now walking past the administration building. The administration building was completed by the end of 1916 after the devastating campus fire of 1915. Behind this building is Hendricks Hall the university's primary public auditorium, which was built in 1923 as a much-needed addition to the administration building. Named after Aldo Hendricks, who served as UCM president from 1917 to 1937, the 1,400-seat auditorium is used for large events, including musical performances, major guest speeches, and public events for the surrounding community. We're now walking past the Murrow Building. The Murrow Building was built in 1939 and originally was known as the Murrow Health and Physical Education Building. It was home to two gymnasiums, one for men and one for women. The building recently became part of the current Student Recreation and Wellness Center complex. On the north side of the building, it was an addition that was built in 1950, 1950 and it was originally known as the North Morrow Social Hall. The upper floor was comprised of a large ballroom for social events and the lower level was the first student union facility on campus. This monument here honors all the various iterations of UCM. Again, it was founded in 1871 as Normal School No. 2. It became the Warrensburg Teacher College in 1919, Central Missouri State Teachers College in 1945, Central Missouri State College in 1972, and finally the University of Central Missouri in 2006.
This building on our right is the Humphreys Building. The current Humphreys Building was named after Professor Emeritus Pauline Humphreys. It was created in 1970 by joining two buildings that were constructed in 1915 through 1916. The original Humphreys Building and the original W.C. Morris Science Building later became the original College High School with a four-story addition. Ahead of us is the Alumni Memorial Chapel. This non-denominational alum alumni memorial chapel was built with private funds in 1956 as a memorial to UCM students and alumni who served in World War II in Korea. The chapel is available for campus and community events with a 220-seat sanctuary, the Danforth Chapel, the Earl A. Webb Study, and a social hall on the lower level. The classroom building on our right is the Martin Building. It was built in 1971 and houses various different classrooms. The building is named after Charles F. Martin, Professor Emeritus of English, who taught at UCM from 1908 to 1951.
Across our street and to the left is the James C. Kirkpatrick Library. This state-of-the-art library was completed in 1990, 1999, providing 20,000 square feet of floor space in three stories and more than 2.3 million volumes of material. The library also houses the Arthur F. McClure Archives and the University Muse Museum. The building is named for Missouri's longest-serving Secretary of State and UCM alumnus, who became the UCM's elder statement prior to his death in 1997. We're walking past the Ed Elliott Student Union. Known as the Campus Living Room, the Elliott Student Union is located in the heart of the main campus. The first phase of the union was built in 1962 with additions completed in 1996 and a major renovation that was finished in 1990. A gathering place for students, the union offers a large atrium, meeting rooms, the Sandra Temple Elliott Ballroom, and flexible spaces for a variety of, of events.
We're now headed down to the Audrey J. Walton Stadium. UCM is a member of the Mid-American Intercollegiate Athletic Association and competes in 16 different varsity sports. The school's mascot is known as the Mules. The Audrey J. Walton Stadium was renovated in 1995 with a lead gift from Audrey J. Walton. The stadium provides seating for 5,800 participants. Built in 1926, the Vernon Kennedy Field at Audrey J. Walton Stadium has undergone numerous renovations over the years, the most recent being in 2016. The field is named for the UCM alumnus who claimed the decathlon title at the 1927 Penn State Relays and was named All-American in track and All-MIAA in football. Here's another good view of Elliott Student Union. On top of it being the main student union, it's also the bookstore, has a bowling alley, and various restaurants inside.
This building on our left here is the W.C. Morris Science Building. It was named for Wilson C. Morris, a professor of chemistry and physics. This third science building was constructed in 1968 and underwent a major renovation in 2016. It houses classroom and laboratory space for programs in the sciences, including chemistry, physics, biology, mathematics, and computer science. I hope you've enjoyed this tour, campus tour of the University of Central Missouri. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on our next wandering walk. Take care now. Bye.